Welcome to our Journey to Unity video series. I'm Liz Tovar, Executive Officer and Associate Vice President for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion at the University of Iowa. And this semester, the Division of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion plan to host a series of video discussions with various individuals um, on our campus and all across our community. And so today, the goal of our discussion is really to encourage conversations that advance our institution to becoming a more inclusive community and really highlight our accomplishments as a university. You know, over the past year in my role, I've been able to hear from a number of faculty, staff, and students, especially individuals of color. And the one remark that I hear time and time again is that individuals really want to see themselves reflected in our leadership all from all across campus. And so today I'm joined by an esteemed group of individuals who were all fairly newly appointed in their positions over the course of the past year. Um, and they're going to come and talk today about the importance of diversity in leadership on campus. Um, and as you can see when, when they introduce themselves, uh, you're going to hear from individuals individuals who work in different areas all across campus from finance and operations uh, to the School of Music, the Provost Office, the Department of Public Safety. And what excites me is that they are all African-American male leaders here on our camp campus. So with that being said, I'm going to uh, go around the room and have everyone introduce themselves. I'll start with Lou Montgomery. Hi, I'm Lou Montgomery. I'm the Associate Director for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion for the Finance and Operations Division of the University. Hi, um, my name is Andre Perry. I actually work within the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, um, Director of Arts Engagement and Inclusion, as well as a Senior Advisor to Liz. My name is Elton Poole, and I work for the University of Iowa Department of Public Safety, and my title is Community Outreach and Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. And I have with me um, an officer that works as our liaison. Hi, my name is Officer Marie Sanchez. I work here at Public Safety as a police officer. And finally, Dr. Minifield. Yes, I'm Dr. William Minifield. I am an assistant professor of jazz studies at the School of Music here at the University of Iowa. I love that word, momentum. And, you know, I know for me, um, as a leader on our campus, it's really important for me that I mean, I'm able to bring up kind of the next generation of people who will eventually be filling my shoes and to go out and to recruit individuals who, again, have a love and a passion for the University of Iowa, want to be great citizens, want to make great contributions to our campus and, and to the community. And so I guess my question for, for the rest of you is, you know, how do you, how do you deal with whether it be succession planning within your area, how does diversity tie into that? Um, what do your networks look like, you know, and, and how do people build a more diverse network so um, that we can prepare for our ever-changing world around us? I think I would <clears throat> return to that word momentum, right? You know, and, and I'll, get, I'll get to your point, Liz. You asked right before this, you know, are, are what makes us a destination? And I think we, we, we heard some of those reasons. I think it's also important to note that we're kind of on this precipice, right? Where we're deciding if we want to be a destination for like the next five to 10 years when we're all a little bit older. And I think some of those components are in place, but we got to keep investing in them, right? You know, so Will was talking about, you know, just the growth and evolution of the jazz program at the School of Music. It's great what's happening, but how do we make sure that that goes to the next level? How are we shifting the curriculum so it's it's what students want? Because if students are getting what they want, you better believe there's going to be more students. The students are going to be happier. It's going to make the whole campus feel better, not just at the school of music, but it's going to make all of us feel a little bit better. Because you know, I might be get off at five and go see that ensemble perform wherever on or off campus. And so, I think it's important that we continue to invest in pushing the conversation forward because what students want is excellence, right? And that excellence is gonna be represented in a lot of different ways, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of perspectives. Some of it's gonna be geographic, some of it's gonna be what people are studying, some people are gonna be traditionalists, some people are gonna be pushing the conversation forward, but it's gotta be like a big range of excellence that students wanna get involved in. And then we gotta make sure that the faculty's there 
to, to, to deliver that and they feel good doing it. They have the freedom to do it. And that us as staff, we're here to support and make sure that the community is, is kind of functioning. You know, we're kind of in the behind the scenes to make sure that the whole thing is moving forward. So I think all those pieces need to be in place and we need to have that momentum if we're going to push forward and get to the next stage and get to being that long term destination. So I think I think that all kind of like leads up to what you're asking is like we just need all of it to be in place and some of it is in place and we have to keep investing to make sure that it grows for the next generation of which we'll be a part of as well. Right. Hey, um, you know, for us, you know, we're trying to make a commitment to um, do a better job of being in the space. You know, going to the spaces and being present. And you know, what that allows us to do is um, to, to listen. And and as we talked about earlier, you know, what does the community want? You know, a lot of the students, they want to be seen and heard. They want to be seen and heard. You know, I hear students saying, well, I don't see so-and-so here at our events. I don't see so-and-so here at our events. You know, they want to, they want to see us. Um, and in addition to that, we also, um, not just, not just being present, we also have to, um, invest into support services. You know, we, a lot of the students, especially the marginalized, they come from a community of trauma. So what are we doing in terms of investing in support services, um, like our, uh, like our counseling? Unfortunately, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about our counseling services, but, you know, we have a very low ranking, ranking nationally of support. So if you have a student that's feeling suicidal, um, you, again, this is one of the complaints that I heard from the students. They say, well, now I was feeling suicidal and the response was in an email or something like that. You know, we can get you in next week. So, I mean, well, they're feeling, you know, they're having a crisis now. Uh, getting them in next week is not going to help them. So imagine it's, imagine someone from a marginalized community who may have, um, I, I guess their crisis is more magnified, and then they, they come to our institution for support, and then they're told, oh, you know, in other words, they, they feel like they're being put on a back burner. I know that's a long example, but that's that's my uh, that's my two that's my sentence. Yeah, and I think too that you know one of the ways that I think is important that is that we extend our circle. I think a lot of times um, we must. I think we can do a better job of applying the racial equity lens in our culture, and I think sometimes we get very narrowed in our circle. And I think the way that we can kind of get out of that is to make sure that we are are connecting with friends and people who don't look like us, who don't talk like us, who come from different worlds, who maybe, uh, uh, you know, share different views. And the value in that is that it brings together a different lens. You know, if I'm an African American, I am an African American man. I should have a bunch. I should have a, a a white friend. If I'm, if I'm in the LGBTQ community, I want some straight friends. So I want that opposite lens because it gives me an opportunity to expand my learning, and I have that resource available to me to let me know that hey, Lou, you really messed up, and how do I fix that? But if your lens is so narrow to the point where you're only seeing it from one lens, then you don't have that growth, that exposure. And really quickly, I'll say that we I really think that we need to move beyond this kind of tranquil state that we sometimes are easy to get in, where we we feel like everything is 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 great. But underneath the waterline, there's a whole lot of trouble. So I think what we have to realize is, is that by not extending our circle into areas that makes us uncomfortable, you know, we need to be, we need to become comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay. And the more that we can become that, create that uncomfortableness, 
the more we're going to start to grow. And I think that's the value in, in that question. Yeah, and I like, I like your statement there, Lou. Um, I guess that had a different frame to what you're saying is um, I look at reaching out to people that doesn't look like you as an opportunity to build advocacy. Um, we can't do this alone. You know, that's the whole purpose of building a community with the acknowledgement is that we should be doing this together. We can't do this alone. I mean, we should be reaching across the board and building good advocacy. I know that you all lead very, very busy lives, but please know that you all mean the world to our campus and to our community, and you're all doing fan fantastic work. And so my challenge to all of you, um, as well as the University of Iowa campus, is to keep the conversation going. It's one of the best things we, we can do in all of this and to learn more about one another, uh, be respectful of one another, and uh, let's grow together. So thank you all so much for taking the time today.